Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. I'm Todd. And I'm Carla. And this weekend we are at the Eggs on the Hiawassee River uh, Rally 2021. Yep, it's at Riverbend Campground in Hiawassee, Georgia. That's right. And uh, so what we're going to try to do on this video is we're just going to walk around and try to check out some late model fiberglass campers. There's a bunch of them here and uh, I don't know what we're going to get into. But uh, we're going to go try to check them out. Maybe some that are just, you know, one, two, three years old just to mm -hmm. check out the latest and greatest. So if you want to see those, stick around and we're going to go for a stroll. <music> Snoozy 2 Maiden Voyage 2021. Got the cool spare tire carrier. Got the graphics on it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Really nice camper. He hasn't had it long. If anybody's interested in seeing more on the snoozy, you can check out our other snoozy video that we did last year. Very informative. We're just taking a quick look at it here. And uh, got the air conditioner on the back. It's got a big door. Look at the size of that door. It's huge. Love that big entry door. Let's go in and take a look. Ooh. Very nice. These things are amazingly roomy for the size of them. Having the big queen bed back there and the couch. Love that floor. Love the cabinetry. The cabinetry is really pretty. They do a great job of that. Nice big bed. Got that countertop space. What a cool little camper. Snoozy 2. It's got a microwave down there. And there's your control panel. Refrigerator, freezer. Sink. Air conditioner. I mean, with the air being on the end and not on the roof, it makes for nothing on the roof. So that way there's no holes or vents or anything like that on the roof. And uh, really with that thing being in the back, it blows air straight forward to help cool the whole thing. So works out great. Here's the bathroom. It's a wet bath. It's got the uh, cassette toilet, I believe it is. And it's got a fan off the back. Very cool. And the door slides. Such a nice camper, 2021 Snoozy 2. So if you want to find out more about that, like I said, check out our video that we did last year on that. It's a kind of in-depth look at them, so you can check that out. But uh, that's it for the Snoozy 2. We're going to go on and check out and see what else is around. A whole bunch of stuff. Let's go. Twenty twenty one escape 5.0 5.0 right. Fifth wheel. They're nice because they have so much headroom in them. I love that about it. He's got the Anderson hitch up there, which makes it real easy to load and unload and hook it up to the truck. Tandem axle. Got some solar up there. Got a max air fan, Coleman air conditioner, all the uh, standard hookups outside. Furnace water heater, power plug. Got a nice bumper with a two inch uh, receiver on the back. The owner added a backup camera to it and it's got a nice big awning. Beautiful camper. Let's go on in. Carla's inside checking it out. They did some custom features that they ordered from the factory. They added this. They sent that uh, flooring to the factory and the factory added that to it. Love how big and roomy and how tall the ceilings are, I love that. Yes. 
Carlos hanging out in the air conditioning here. This is really nice. This is great. Yeah. It's got a dinette in the back. It's got some cabinets up top. Looks like it has like frosted uh, glass there in the cabinet doors. Yeah. Very nice. It's got some little tables there. Yeah, this is built really neat. In. They fold down. They fold down. And then also it has a, this is where the table goes for the dinette. Oh, okay. Got an oven, cooktop, sink. The sink is really Sink. It's got a big refrigerator, refrigerator freezer. Got a couple steps up to the bed there. As you can see, it's got a microwave over here on the side. And uh, let's check out the bathroom here. Push the button. It's got a wet bath in it. It's a good size wet bath. Got a window. They have a cabinet in the back. I don't know if that's standard or not. Very nice. Here, girl. Right. See here. Check out this headroom. Because I'm six foot. So what is that? Seven foot here? Yeah, just because the way the the uh, roof slopes up. So. And that way it gives you a lot of headroom over the bed. That's very cool. Got a wardrobe over here on the side. And uh, some more storage down there. And it's got a, a exit hatch above the bed. You can probably have open that up for mm -hmm. just ventilation. There's a screen on it as well. But These are frosted glass, which yeah. you pointed out, yeah. but I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That is a 2021 Escape. 5.0 tandem axle uh, fifth wheel trailer. Beautiful trailer. And uh, we want to thank them for letting us walk around it, check it out. And uh, we're going to go on to the next one. Next up, we're going to take a look at our friends Dan and Sally's 2020 model Escape 19. It's a beautiful camper. They just got it about uh, six, seven months ago. One nice thing it has the big storage box up front. Love that. And uh, looks like it holds two propane tanks up there, electric jack. This is super nice. It's got a Coleman Mach air conditioner, one of the new ones, and it's super quiet inside. It's amazing how quiet it is. It is so much quieter than, than ours that we have in our camper. Uh, this one has solar up there. Don't know how many watts it is, but nice to have that big large awning as we work our way around I like the blue graphics on there very nice looks good with your silver truck got extra storage down there Okay, we're gonna go on in and take a look. All right, going on in and take a look. Close the door behind me because it's nice and cool in here. This is super nice. I don't know if you can hear it, but the air conditioner is on, but it is so quiet, it's amazing. So this is the Escape 19, as I said. So here's the kitchenette. It's got a cooktop there, uh, no oven in it. They opted to go without the oven, but it does have extra countertop flip up uh, space there. They did to, to opt out of the microwave. The microwave would have gone up where the freezer goes, he said, but they wanted the larger refrigerator freezer, so that is a nice option to have if you choose that. I, I love having a large refrigerator in it, uh, freezer. So there's the bed, good size bed. I don't know how big it is, but it's a, it's a big bed. Got counters or uh, storage all the way around up there. You got speakers. And then it still has the dinette up here to seat four people. So that's super nice. Got windows all the way around. So you got panoramic viewing outside. It's got some storage up top. And uh, it does have a wet bath here I believe let's check it out yep it's got a wet bath it's got a window in there it's 
got the uh, mirror with the storage in there. It's, like, it's a good size wet bath. Very nice camper. One thing that Escape has is it's like a padded, uh, I don't know what they call it now, but it's like a padded, almost like a, a vinyl type uh, ceiling. Uh, it's not really like carpet like you'd find on a Bigfoot or a Casita or something like that. It's actually like a padded insulation and it's really nice. Uh, that's about it. This is a 2020 Escape 19. Very cool camper. The Escapes, if you don't know, are made in Canada, uh, along with Bigfoot and uh, Northern Light and that sort of thing. So they make some great campers up there in, uh, in Canada for the fiberglass ones. So now you've, so far we've seen a Escape fifth wheel and a travel trailer. So we're gonna keep moving and uh, see what else we can find. Next up, we're gonna check out a 2022 Oliver Elite 2. Let's go. This is a super nice camper. If any of you saw our video from last year, we did do a walk around on an Oliver Elite 2. It was a 2021 model. This one is a, a 22 model. I don't know too much what the difference is. I do know that in this side panel, there are two lithium batteries that, let me see if I can pull them out. I don't know if I can by one hand here with see they're giant batteries two lithium batteries with 600 amp hours that you that is an option on these Oliver Elite twos and uh such a nice camper full molded fiberglass I like the the lights that they put over the windows it's got solar on top of course charge up the lithiums got lights underneath it's got a full aluminum frame got some storage in the bumper uh, yeah, I think so. got a full powered awning with the wind sensor super nice is that a Truma water heater down there okay Truma aqua go huh Cool. It's got the added uh, storage box up front. The propane tanks are in there. Uh, 30 pound propane tanks, correct? Yeah, 30 pounds. Upgraded. Yes, Upgraded, okay. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. It's a beautiful camper. This is the twin bed model. As you can see, it's got the two separate beds down there on the end. It has a wood style flooring in here. I gotta say, this is probably Carla's favorite camper. One of them, anyhow. It's got a two burner cooked up. Got a sink, nice square sink, microwave, refrigerator, freezer. It's got a large mirror as you can see there in the background. Check out the bathroom. It's got a good size wet bath here. It's a nice stainless steel sink. It's a good size. Got storage next to the door. That's lit in there, that's cool. Nice to have a light inside the closet. Got a bit of storage there. It's got all the controls up here, stereo, solar, oh, the water heater controls, I guess. And yeah, there's the trim up there in the middle and uh, tank level monitor and it's got a pantry here you can put all your stuff in super nice this is a 
beautiful camper. It's got great lighting, lighting throughout all the and all the cabinets with the frosted glass for all the other cabinets. I love how the ceiling is just molded. This camper actually has basically like a four piece uh, mold it has the top and bottom outside. Then there is a uh, a full mold inside, two piece mold inside. So it's uh, well insulated and that's how we get the beautiful finished uh, fiberglass look inside the camper. Super nice camper, 2022 Oliver Elite 2. If you want one of the best fiberglass campers out there, you gotta come check out one of these. So we're gonna keep walking around and see what's see what else we can find. And I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Thanks for sticking around. And uh, let's go. Let's go see what else we can find. Bigfoot 25. Bigfoot 25, RQ maybe, rear queen, or maybe a twin bed, I don't know. It's nice looking. Next up is a 2021 model Bigfoot 25 RQ. Let's go check it out, beautiful camper. This camper is super nice, 25 footer like I said, and it has the large storage box in the front. And uh, so then you can put all your you know, your stuff that gets dirty outside, all your blocks and hoses and all that stuff. It's so nice. And then the front rock guard comes down over the front window. These folks added the shades over the, the, the side windows there. So that helps keep, the, keep it cooler inside. Keep the sun out. That's a good idea. I like that. Looks really good. Beautiful fiberglass on this camper. There's a large storage area down underneath the bed. Tandem axle. These do have uh, shocks on them uh, on the wheels and the axles, so it just helps them ride extra smooth. It's got a large heavy duty ladder on the back. Big, big bumper. It's got a rear two inch receiver hitch there. Large awning, powered awning. I love how big these awnings are. Beautiful camper. This is a 2021, like I said. It's got the exterior speakers. Hard noise, loud noise. There's a generator going over there on that other big foot. But uh, hopefully you can hear me all right. So we're gonna go on in and take a look and check out the. 2021 25 RQ. Alright, now we're inside the Bigfoot 25 RQ. Such a beautiful camper. Lots of room. You can see the full kitchen galley area there. Area there. It's got microwave. It's got lots of cabinets space. It's got a bunch of drawers and more storage underneath the sink. Nice round sink. It's got an oven, cooktop. It's got the fold up. A countertop extension. It's got a nice large door. Love the big large door. And the, the dinette area is nice and roomy. And uh, you know it's really more of a five seater almost. I mean the table seats four but you have like this lounging area there where you can spread out and uh, watch TV if you want to and and uh, more storage down there. And you got the lar super large refrigerator freezer. I don't know how big it is, but it's really big for an RV uh, refrigerator. It's got additional cabinets up along the top as well as the skylight. It's got nice fabric with like a leatherette uh, feel on the fabric as well. And then as you go on back down the hallway, you got the dry bath here on the right side. Nice big roomy dry bath with a full molded fiberglass shower. Love this shower with the skylight. It's just fantastic that uh, that shower is, or at least I love it. And it's got the, this one has the, the hideaway pull out door, which make, keeps all the water in. Very nice, got 
cabinets above the sink. Stainless steel sink. Looks like a porcelain toilet. Super nice. Nice roomy bathroom. It's got a wardrobe area there. I'm not going to open that just for their privacy. But look at that. It has more uh, drawers and storage down underneath that. And then you got the full walk around queen bed back here with cabinets above the bed. Panoramic windows all the way around. So it's super nice to be able to actually walk around the bed and uh, you know to actually be able to so you don't have to crawl over anybody. What a beautiful camper. I love the Bigfoot campers. All of them are great. Really love this Bigfoot 25. Just a beautiful camper. Appreciate them letting us uh, walk around and check it out. Very nice. Okay, so that's it for the tours of the molded fiberglass campers, the, the late model molded fiberglass campers, if I can get that out straight. The 20 and 21 year models. Mm -hmm. uh, we enjoyed going through all of them. Yeah, and, there were uh, a lot of really good options, you know, the from the Escape to the Bigfoot to the snoo Snoozy 2. Yeah, I mean, just depends on what your wants and needs are because yeah, they're all quite different and uh, they're all pretty amazing campers too. A lot of too. different price points too. Those are really three different price points, so good options. Yeah, they are. It really is. So if you're looking at a fiberglass RV, you maybe should check some of those out. There are some other ones out there too. Uh, Casita's a great one too, but we didn't get to a, uh, a late model Casita. I'm not sure who has one. If we can get to it, uh, we will next time. But anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you can, hit the, the like button. We'd appreciate that. And thanks for sticking around. And we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.